I should put my headphones on. Give me one second. Sorry about that. Unprofessional. Hold on. Ah. All right, there we go. All right, so we're here live. No, I don't need it. So we're here live. At, uh, if you guys remember the other week, I was at uh, Tossie Station Echo Base, a really cool collector spot in Chantilly, Virginia. Hey, Mecca, how's it going? <laughs> Welcome again. Uh, this time I'm here at their main location, or their, I guess their first location in Springfield, Virginia. Here we are at Huntsman Square. It was kind of hard to find because it's actually in this mall, um, which looks like a giant grocery store. Um, and, and it is. There is a giant grocery store inside, but... It was confusing because there's no name on the outside, but this is a little shopping center. We're gonna go and head inside now. So I'm gonna turn around the camera. Give me a second. All right, there we go. Uh, ATM, I don't know if uh, they actually have a trip to go on here. This is a different location, so. But once you head inside, there is still a giant back here, which I'll be heading to very briefly after the live stream. But we're, what we're looking for is not the subway, but Tashi Station. You can see there's some tables out here. People are, looks like they're being dingies up. But this is Tashi Station. And as you can see, it's a very cool space here. So a little bit different than the one where we had the other day in Echo Base, but still has a ton of stuff. And this time I do actually have more time. So we're gonna take a look at this. Uh, in more detail in my physique pressure. All right, so yeah, starting off strong with some uh, PMNT turtles here. Uh, from what I understood, uh, this this location has a lot more comics and such. You see all these different collectibles, of course, Star Wars stuff, Commander Prodigy anime stuff, a bunch of comics, as you can see here. Uh, I just came came from a meetup in Springfield. I streamed that earlier. A bunch of friends and I get together every couple months, Transformers buddies, we share stuff, just chat and have a good meal. Ooh, that woman a mask. Okay, a lot of the DC things here. Yeah, this this... This place definitely has a lot of stuff. This this is some of the standard stuff that you would see in most targets and so forth. But obviously, if they have a much wider selection, much more complete than you would see at like Target and so forth, where it's usually very hard to find stuff. Ooh, Necron! Look at all these collected volumes here. Did I see Homer in Springfield? No, I have not, T Man. Uh, hopefully, that's the only Simpsons joke we get. The whole joke is there's a Springfield basically in every state, so you're never gonna be able to find find one anyway. Oops, sorry. Just trying to straighten out. Uh, a bunch of cars and Hot Wheels stuff. I know T-Man was asking me if they had the new Batman, Batwing, Hot Wheels thing. Here's some Transformers Beast Wars. I think these are the reissues. Cheetor, Tigatron, got some Rat Trap. Three rat traps. Uh, I don't know what these are. Bot shots? Find the bat wing. I don't know if they have that here. But I, don't, I have no idea what spot shots are. Choose your power, crash into battle? Is this some kind of game? I have no idea what this is. Is that Mirage? Oh, Ratchet. Oh, no. Sorry about that. Uh, a side river skyquake. I just was told at the meetup that the the new skyquake had different elbows on each arm, which I find that's kind of interesting. Yeah, it's Optimus. What is this? Oh, yeah. See, I mean, I'm finding new stuff already. All right. We got some Mario stuff. Are you guys excited about the new upcoming Mario movie? I also didn't 
not know that the Koopalings are not, in fact, Koopa's kids. I didn't know that. Really? It's called Commander Class? That's Skyward? Uh, Skyplay? Yeah, but I found out that um, the Koopalings are not Bowser's kids. That was like a shock to me. There's some food stuff. Can't be a collector store without some random candy. Bowser isn't married. Yeah, yeah, I, I get that. They're like his nephews or cousins or whatever. Yeah, that's. But what about Bowser Jr.? Bowser Jr. must be his kid, right? Here's some uh, of the Earth Spark stuff. I haven't seen the usual. Just these two, and I don't even think I've ever seen the Bumblebee before. But at my Target, I always see these two. I've never seen these. Oh, a swim. Oh. Living in sin. <laughs> All right, we're not going to pass judgment on Bowser and his lifestyle, okay? Ooh, Godzilla, Pinky Dora. Oh, you know this place is awesome. They have G1 Transformers on play. I probably can't uh, show too much of that. I might get demonetized. That's some kind of copyright <laughs> strike from Hasbro. <laughs> statues up here, Star Wars stuff. Man, they just have a whole bunch of books too. You mean the Beast anime style? A Tokyo Pop? Bowser kidnaps princesses. I don't think he cares about marriage. <laughs> yeah, he's he definitely the type that would uh, not uh, follow any kind of consent laws or anything like that. Yeah, see him that that was Transformers music in the background. I just showed it. These, these comments are coming up late for me. Oh my gosh, the turtle blimp, I had that. Is this the OG one or is this like a, it, does, it blows up to, I had the original. I don't know if this is the original or not. It looks like it because it's like sun faded. That is crazy. I remember having this. With the grip and everything. That is awesome. I'm surprised it's only 60 bucks. I would think something like this old, complete in box. <laughs> Bowser's mom is Princess Peach, and Bowser is trying to heal his broken hand. Oh my god! Yeah, I had everything as a kid. I was super spoiled as a kid. Only child. Oh, hey guys! Yeah, we we said we we're gonna stop by here. We're doing a live stream. So these guys are making a second appearance. We didn't get to introduce Penny last time, so apologies. This is Penny. She was in the back corner. This is Jason, aka Nero, again. We're just doing a quick. You guys find anything good here? Oh, yeah. Yeah? Found a lot of things. <laughs> Jason, yes. you didn't see him on screen. Jason shook his head no, but Penny shook, shook, shook well, her head Well, my yeah. family was told to be in here for a long time. <laughs> they said, hello, humans. <laughs> I usually avoid what I do live streams of different stores and hunts. I don't try to show all the people's faces, so. This is probably new for new to them. So, yeah, we're just getting started. Is there anything uh, interesting that I should make sure not to miss out back there, like Transformers wise? Nah, all the older stuff. All the older stuff? Yeah, that's gonna be good. One of my one of my uh, friends wants to see if they have a Trypticon. They had a Trypticon at the Echo Base, so if they have one, we might have to partake. Ooh, they actually have some stuff up there. So we're gonna head over there. We'll let these two let these two go off on their merry way. Have a great rest of your Sunday. All right, let's continue on, everyone. This is the first place we come to. A whole bunch of Pokemon stuff and some Pokemon things. I'll start so right there. Some cards to. Oh, Silverhawks, Super Seven Silverhawks. Some puzzles. Oh, One Piece card game. I actually got a, a deck of these, a couple of these from. Um, Eddie, I have to shoot a review of it. All right, we're going to kind of go backwards, but we can take a look. Um, Transformer uh, yeah, stuff you can see here. That's some Beast Hunter stuff. Oh, Beast Hunter stuff. Oh, this is one of those like, uh, PVC figures that came in like the 
four piece set. What, what school is this? Is this the Black Iron Point? DK2 Guard? I don't even remember what this is. Uh, it's kind of a perceptor. How much is Cliff Jumper? This Cliff Jumper here is ooh, 150 bucks complete. They have a uh, Ball of Cybertron Optimus Prime. Yeah, 150 bucks. It's definitely a lot. And I remember this was really hard to find. And then I think this is the Black Perceptor, right? Magnificus. They have Skyfire here. Hey, team, I did actually get to mess with the New Age Skyfire. I know you said that's your favorite Skyfire of all time. Of all time. But uh, there are definitely things about it that I did not like. They, oh, they actually have the Stunticons here. I've never seen this one in person. I think I've seen Drag Strip once. Leo Prime, do they have a Tarn? No, they have a Bulkhead. Jason actually said that he has a. I didn't like parts of this transformation. Like, like there's a big gap between the jetpack and the uh, front nose cone. Transformers collector in uh, in alt mode. I didn't really like that. Spike, all these legends or core class figures. We got a uh, old school. Autobots Unite, Hot Rod, some premium finish Transformers. I think we saw some of these at Echo Base too. Oh, I, I don't think I saw these. Isn't this one? I feel like that, this one was one of the later ones. Premium finish Ultra Magnus. I don't think we sealed this so well. Bear looks open. Like, obviously, it's loose. But we got a bunch of older stuff here. Fusors. Oh, man. Let's see. Yeah, they have a bunch of older stuff here. Prime Star Screen. Springer. Autobot Springer. Dead End. Yeah, they have a bunch of older stuff here. We could probably be here forever just looking at the older stuff. Sky Warp with the comic. Voice with the comic. Another cliff jumper here. This is the Generations one, not the Prime one. For you cliff jumper fans out here, this is 50 bucks. All right, some other things that they have here. Oh, Prime Ultra Magnus. 15 bucks for this die cap one. I break for MPs. <laughs> What else we got going on? Oh, this is the Thundertron. People are asking about this uh, this mold of one of my reviews. Old Ironhide. This is the Mech Tech one. Oh, yeah. Dreadwing. That this one's this one's available six ninety nine. Really? I thought that was sold a long time ago. I'm surprised we still have this. Uh, all right, some more Transformers Studio Series stuff. RC crosshairs. Looks like probably mostly RC and crosshairs. They have this pretty well organized. Uh, oh god. Oh wow. I haven't seen Impactor in forever. Only twenty six bucks. I feel like that's a good price for him. Diaxis. Swing. Let's see here. Oh, reduced price on this clone. Tigertron. Air Razor, who I did a review on not too long ago. Bunch of Tigertrons. Alita One. Another RC. We got a Grapple. Oh, we got Pipes. I don't know if I've ever saw, I ever saw this one in stores, and that's this weird pterodactyl or pteranodon wing finger. T Rex. What we got here? All right, I think that's. Oh, they have some other more of these um, limited edition one, golden disc collection, mutant Tigertron, Autobot Puffer. Ooh, Spider Verse. 
I'm sure a lot of you guys are excited about the Into the Spider Verse upcoming movie. Oh, they have the uh, Hot Toys um, Optimus Prime, the Megatron version, Old School Prime, some of the reissues. You got another puffer, and then the uh, what's that clicking noise? There's a clicking noise. I don't know what the clicking noise is. There's a gigawatt, more prime, some of the MP um, trains, MP10, the reissue with the new box. They have a Thundercracker here, 240. That's a pretty good price. I think I was pricing my, I still have one, an extra one of these that I've been trying to sell that no one was buying. Bunch of Marvel stuff up here. Oh, Nimrod. I haven't seen a Nimrod figure before. Hylock. I don't even know who Phantom X is. Apocalypse, Omega Red, Iron Man. Okay, most of this is comics. I'm not going to show an awful lot of comics just because they're comics. But they just have boxes and boxes and boxes of uh, comics. Female Loki. That actually looks pretty good. Long shot, man. TCP finally got MPG3. Some of the legend stuff. Jimmy Woo and his card trick that he learned from Scott Lang. Armored Spider-Man. I totally remember that from the comic. Oh, this is All Father. All Father uh, Thor. Winter Soldier. Oh, this is. This is a really cool looking Magneto. Is this from like, uh, kind of like the Age of Apocalypse? Maybe? Yeah, because that's like Age of Apocalypse Cy uh, Cyclops. Killmonger. I can't, sorry, I'm not even reading all of these comments. Man, they have so much more stuff than I would see at any of my local stores. Sharon Card, I didn't even know she had a figure. Oh, Kate Bishop. Love Kate, Kate Bishop. You got the White Vision. You know, Ebony Mall. Heist Nebula. Yeah, they just got so much stuff here. More comics. All right, let's move on. Oh, we're going to have to come back to this case. MP3G, MP, MPG3. We're talking about the Seeker set. X Pants. More Skyfire, Jetfires. I have no idea how, if these are old or new, but they have some Kenner Star Wars stuff. Book of Boba Fett, so it has to be new. Yolnir. For you G.I. Joe fans. We got some Lego G.I. Joe here. Or maybe it's not Lego. Yeah, technically it's not Lego, some kind of construction set. With some mini fig looking snake eyes. Craftmaster and Fiona. I don't even know a lot of these. I've never, I mean, I collected G.I. Joe as a kid, but I never collected an adult. And I haven't watched the show in forever, so I don't remember a lot of these characters. I just remember the ones that are, were very blatantly racist. You know, with like Quick Kick and stuff like that. Oh, you saw me. Go Jimbo. How much are these? 54 bucks, 55 bucks. Are you Thundercats fan? Lion O, Chitara, Panther, <sighs> Linkso, Jaga, Monkey In, Groon, Hook Mountain Ice Lion O? I don't even remember that one. Also, this one has a sleeve over type of it, and that one doesn't. It's kind of weird. Oh, just Tiger. Bengali. Uh, let's see. Trans uh, Trans if MP ain't near, I ain't make for the door. Come on now. Some uh, trans uh, not, uh, Ninja Turtle crossover things with Power Rangers, Ghostbusters. Ooh, that's 
That's kind of saucy. What else we got here? More comics. Some of the NECA two pack. Splinter. And Baxter. And the Poli, the, the frog. Oh, they have more of the. Okay, maybe they weren't want the retro ones. Because they have so many. Or the reissue retros. That's probably what it is. The party wagon. Spawn stuff. I don't know anything about Spawn really. Darkwing Duck. Gremlin. All the Spawn stuff. I'm, I'm not going to be able to tell you anything about this. Oh my gosh, Princess Bride stuff. Vizini. Nice. Princess Buttercup. Inigo Montoya. Dread Pirate Roberts. Star Trek stuff. Uh, there might be more Titans. I don't know. I have, we haven't looked through it all yet, so they might have it in a different section. And again, they also had Titans at the other location. Yeah, let's go to some of the retro stuff along this wall. Oh, they do have Titans up here. TM. Uh, one. One is. Scorpion, and there's another one behind it. Oh, it looks like two arcs. I don't see a Tristicon, but we'll keep looking. Here are the He Man things Castle Grey Skull, Snake Mountain, a bunch of cards. And here are the pre packaged rip uh, yeah, figures. Eight face. Yeah, no, I had the. Is this Studio Series? I keep thinking of um, maybe buying all this crap, man. There's a lot of stuff in here, but I'm not going to be able to go through it all. But if anything catches my eye, I'm, oh, they have art fire. That's pretty new, though. It's older. It's hot rod. I don't remember which one this one is, though. It's probably when I was collecting. Oh, they have some of the dino locks. I don't remember this one. I don't remember what where which series this is from. They have three of them. No Grimlock and no Swoop. Classic Ninja Trolls, the caveman ones. I remember those. But that thing about coming to these stores is like a trip down memory lane. Oh, they have a uh, hot rod. Oh, this is the uh, blur. Which version was this one? Legacy? Yeah, the Velocitron one. Yeah, he, he had the weird paint deck I didn't like. Very light. Oh, man. Look at this Generations Mirage. Everyone used to love this one. Yeah. Oh damn drift! Oh, this is this is like one of those. I forget what series it was. It's not a cool drift though. Panda, Flash, Splinter. Man, they have so much. Oh, this is the other Baxter. Oh, Shredder, old school Casey Jones. He doesn't have his golf bag and his hockey stick and stuff. No one wants. A plain Casey Jones without all of his stuff. Some comic figures. Yeah, I go figures. Just a bunch of loose toys down here. There's no way I'm going to spend time going through. Oh, rescue bus. There's no way I'm going to spend time digging through all these loose figures. Some pops. Oh. Can't forget Devastator. We have a Devastator here. A bunch of stuff on the top. I like how they display some of these retro stuff. <laughs> that you know, Devastator. Obviously, they have a an immense collection of Star Wars stuff from lightsabers, Ford FX, a Force FX Elite, toys of all sorts. From the Black Series to the uh, 3.5 inch, whatever one. 
Right, let's look on this side real quick before we get to the next aisle. Uh, these are all, I guess, more doll-oriented. But then we get back to more Star Wars stuff. Rogue One stuff. Carded Marvel figures. Oh, this Venom has a really good head sculpt. I like that. Oh, I don't, I don't like the no pupil. That looks weird. I know that is how she looks, but T T you T Man thinks. I mean, T T Man thinks that T Man and I live close to each other. We do not. We live like over an hour away from each other. So he said, "Why aren't you here?" But like last time, they do have a pretty significant top selection here of all sorts. Oh, big Yoda. I, even, <laughs> I don't know how I missed this life-size Yoda here. All right, let's see what else we got. We got some plushies, anime plushies, Aang, some MHA, Invader Zim. Somebody was on the stream last Oh, Powerpuff Girl! There's no bubbles, probably because the, the, the only um, educated collector probably took bubbles because bubbles is clearly the best of the Powerpuff Girls. It's not even close. Hunter Hunter. Oh, is this? Yeah, it is. From, uh, it's Jet from Cowboy Viva, Jet Black. What a cool name to have. Some posters. Did we go in this? Yeah, we just came from the style. Let's go around here. Big Captain America shield. More pop. Black Adam pop. Poor movie. More Star Wars stuff. It just keeps going forever. What else we got here? More Marvel, Marvel stuff. The Age of Apocalypse. Like cost you saw earlier. Maggot. I always thought Maggot was so cool when he first came out. I was a big Joe Maderera fan. I think Joe Maderera might have been the first person to draw him. Oh, Taskmaster. Craven, Rogue. Oh, they're going to play some K-pop in here. I just realized. Some more lightsabers. Yeah, some of the folks that were at our meetup earlier are big like uh, lightsaber collectors like uh, Razor Wire and um, MP Collector. They're talking about lightsabers for a long time today. New Hall of Famer. Wait, where did where'd she go? Oh no, never mind. She's not whole, uh, not new, but she was on WrestleMania last night. I'll be watching day two tonight. Watched day one of WrestleMania yesterday. Here's the new Hall of Famer, Rey Mysterio. Trish Stratus, she's a Maryland native. Uh, no, not Trish, Trish um, Stacey Keebler. She just got uh, inducted into the Hall of Fame the other day. Some anime statues. What else we got going on here? More statues, Dragon Ball, old school Dragon Ball stuff, like my Pilaf. King Piccolo, Big Trap Jaw, Bikini Girls. What else we got going on? Uh, just like the other stores, they do have some arcade one ups. You can see the Simpsons back there at the Turtles in Time four player game, one of the best side scroller games in existence. They even have some. Retro consoles, PlayStation 3, Xbox 360. Hey, Fre hey Freakenstein. Uh, you just did a mini, uh, mini Comic-Con. You should take a look at the videos. Okay, yeah. I'll definitely check that out. Some Avatar stuff. Last M Airbender, Jet, Sokka, Katara. Uh, Blue Spirit, Zuko. They have a bunch of those. Warhammer stuff. What is this? I don't even know what this is. Oh, I don't know. How to, I never know how to pronounce that. Kotopukia? I don't know. 
Uh, so here's, I guess, the back here is where they have more of the video game sections. They have some old school video games here. Oh, they have the Blink Toys Leo Prime. Oh, Zoid. Yeah, I just don't know a lot of this stuff. Oh, Mega Man or Rock Man X. Bunch of Star Wars stuff up top. Oh, Bo Katan. Some kind of Legend Pinball. Oh, shoot, I can play. Uh, I'm playing with one hand, so this might not go well. Oh, I tilted it. Oh, there's a tilt button? Oh, I didn't know that. My bad, my bad. All right, let me try again. Let me try again. I do like start to continue. How do I start to continue? How do these buttons work? Oh. Call attendant. All right, you know what? We're, we're moving on. <laughs> I wanted to play, but more dragon stuff, some Witcher stuff, Uncharted, Five Nights at Freddy's, more more repackaged figures, The Simpsons, also a great one. The Versus series. I spent hundreds of hours playing X-Men vs. Street Fighter. As well as Marvel vs. Capcom. X-Men vs. Street Fighter. Not as much since it wasn't as popular in the US. Oh, here's some other figures up here. Is that the Claymate Voltron? Classic Voltron? I think I have one of those. Ooh, they have a Titanic. Some Megazords up there. Some One Piece stuff. Oh man, they have too many pops. Let's see what we got here. Some kind of random shockwave. I don't know that one. Oh, that's the Disney kind of amiibo thing. I forget what they're called. Are they a DM? <laughs> Marvel vs. Capcom to come to me. Hey, Princeton, how's it going? We're just doing another quick live stream uh, of. Uh, Tashi Station, this is their Springfield location. We're at their second location, Echo Base. And people really like that one, so I wanted to show this one since I was over here for a meetup. Really nice stealth statue. Plus Dragon Ball stuff. B. Oh, Shikamaru. Oh, that's from, uh, I forget his name because I didn't watch a lot of it, but um, what's it called? Oh, I can't think of it. Uh, Batosai, what, 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 what is, Samurai X is the U.S. name. Bunch of manga here, all the collections, volumes, and so forth. So, like, for your manga needs, you've all the stuffies, bunch of statues up top. More statues here. This, this is all my hero academia. For, oh, and uh, Demon Slayer. Oh, this is from One Piece Red. I still haven't seen it. A couple of One Piece characters. All these One Piece busts Robin, Sanji, Chopper, Shanks. Some of the Ruder stuff as well. Some Gundam, prepackaged Gundam stuff. I don't know if it's Gundam Universe or not. <laughs> I got better things to like to do than buy. <laughs> oh, some Godzilla stuff here. Oh, Vampire Hunter D. Yeah, I heard the people are excited about the continuation. I I don't know if I ever watched the entire Vampire Hunter D before. All right, let's see. I think we covered most of the store. I think this location is slightly 
maybe slightly smaller. Actually, it might be the same size. It might be close to the same size. Oh, Saitama from One Punch Man. He's just peeking out over there. But yeah, this is definitely a cool location. Um, the last thing we're going to show is up front and the glass display. A bunch of Pokemon cards. This is the Transformer section. All you animated fans will be happy. They got a Grimlock. They got, um, what's his name? Oh, I can't remember his name. But he does the Punch of Doom, one punch of death or something like that. There's the Combiner. Volcanicus. Yeah, there are a lot of prime figures here. Oh, there's the old um, Bumblebee from the um, Fall of Cybertron series. We're going to get a new one of those. They got hot rods. Oh, oh yeah, man. Empty hot rods sitting on his box. Yeah, this is basically mostly prime stuff. A random springer back there. 80 bucks. Then I think that might be the Japanese release exclusive one or something like that. Oh, some G1 stuff. I don't even know who this is. 120 bucks for this guy. Somebody who's more versed in the lore than me should be able to tell me what that is. They also have a bunch of Lego minifigs. Ninja Turtle stuff, some pizza dude. Minecraft stuff, more Lego stuff. And then in the back here, let's see what else we got up top. There's more statues, more comics. So yeah, I think that's mostly it. We'll take a quick look again at the Transformer section. Again, they have mostly retail stuff. They do have a few of the more higher ticket product items up here. The MP10, uh, MP1, Optimus, MP10 up here. Oh, they even have some third party stuff. <laughs> this is unique toys, uh, blast off. All right, I think that's gonna do it all for today, folks. Hope you guys enjoyed the quick look at the Tashi Station location here in Springfield. If you guys missed the last one, we did do a look at Echo Base, their second location uh, the other week. But again, it was really fun just being able to check this out. People talked to me about this one before. They said I need to check it out. But if you're ever in the Springfield, Virginia area, definitely make sure to come by, take a look. Oh, they even have some art prints by John Hernandez. Oh, he's, he's nice. Well, fun stuff. But yeah, if you're in the area, def definitely make sure to check it out. Uh, once I get home, I'll add all of the information for the address and the website for Akashi Station in the link below and the description below. Oh, this is Hone from uh, Horizon. Very cool. But yeah, that's going to be it for us, everyone. Hope you guys have a good weekend. We'll be back. Um, Probably tomorrow with the review of the Astrobot Athenia. I was supposed to do that before, uh, but this week kind of got away from me with some random uh, guests that came by the other day. And also, because Resident Evil 4 remake has been taken. <laughs> Hope you guys enjoyed the multiple reviews. This is week 14, I believe, of 2023. So the streak continues. 14 down. What does that mean? I got 38 more weeks to go to keep my resolution. So we'll keep at it. Thanks for joining. Hope you guys enjoyed this on the Rewind. If you like what we're doing here on the toy hunts, reviews, uh, any other live stream shorts that we're doing, let me know in the comment section below. Always give it a thumbs up, share, and subscribe. And if you don't like what we're doing, give it a thumbs down, but at least leave a comment. Let me know what I can do to make things better. All right. Thanks a lot.